biggest fear. If you guys saw my previous video towards the end, I was having engine issues. It started misfiring. I checked spark. I changed spark plugs. I'm down to fuel. So the first thing I'm gonna do is check the injectors. I came to Fuel Injector USA and we're now gonna bench test it. We're gonna flow test, possibly clean, and we're gonna put new O-rings in them. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how that's done. Testing the injectors. Um, this is a GDI injector. This is a gasoline dotted injector. So you have to test it in a special machine like this one that have two <clears throat> different options. Standard or GDI? Number two. Auto. You see where we're going to 90. When they open, of course, they, that those injectors, as I see right now, the spray is, par is perfect. That's the perfect part of the test. Uh, spray powder, sorry. Okay. Of this injector. So, so they look decent right now? They look very decent. Okay. So about the flow. Even. That's a perfect flow for one second of those injectors. One second for those injectors. See, they are also electronically, they are completely not perfect. 1.9 to 2.0 um, mini handrails. That's the measure that they have to have. All right, no injector issues. We're gonna figure out what it is. Thank you for always checking my injectors when I need it checked. Of course, my friend, that's what we are working for. Highly recommend it, guys. Follow them on Instagram, search them up on Google, read the reviews, the reviews are amazing. Obviously, you're looking at the video and this is exactly how he treats all his customers, so. And you don't only work on boats, you work on cars, trucks. Any kind of injector except the diesel. No diesel injector. All gasoline. All gasoline injectors. And you clean gas tanks, empty, oh, yes. empty yes, out gas yes, tanks. Yes, definitely. We empty gas fuel tanks, we clean the fuel tank, we have special equipment for uh, remove all the debris that is inside of the fuel tanks, of the water. We separate water from gasoline, we clean the tank inside. Uh, the best work is when we empty the tank completely. And we go also to the marinas. So for those of you who are not in Miami, he does accept box uh, shipments. So you can go on Google, get his address, or just contact him, send him the injectors, and he will send them back the same day or the following day. If you drop it off, you'll get your injectors the same day or maybe within an hour like I am right now. Some of you guys been asking how we made out from a hurricane in. Only bad thing it did was destroy our, car our canopy for the boats. So that is no longer with us. All right, so let's figure this out. I got a new post pump rebuild kit that I'm gonna be putting on. It's super quick, super easy. I'm not gonna show you guys. It's just super easy. Plenty of videos on YouTube how to do it. And I'm gonna be putting my injectors back in. And I don't know, going through the entire engine and seeing what's wrong with it. So it's a little stressful when something's going on and you can't figure it out. I've gone through the entire fuel system I just finished replacing the post pump with the new rebuild kit post pump didn't look bad at all there's no holes in the diaphragm VST tank there's a little debris in the there in there but there's nothing in the filters either on the low pressure or high pressure and obviously you saw the injectors are clean so fuel system on the engine side it's good. Now I gotta put everything back together. I also drained some fuel and it looks good. Really nothing, just a little bit of something, but nothing crazy. There's no water, there's nothing in here.
I'm so mad. <sighs> I lost my hatch. No. <coughs> Damn it. Good news, she ran okay, or she ran good, and we made it back home safe. Bad news, I lost the damn hatch. Oh my god, this irritates me. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's a little dark, but I lost this hatch. If you guys know anyone who has a star flight for parts, or know anywhere I can find this Starflight hatch, lid, whatever you want to call it, please let me know. I'll buy it right now. If not, I'm going to have to make a mold of this and duplicate this to put on the other side. That's going to be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little DIY stuff. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.